God bless you. Hello out there, YouTube land, Google Plus land, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. New prophecy from the throne room of heaven. Prophecy on Gaza. July the 26th, 2014. You know, yesterday, the Carmadale Muslim Center had a march downtown in Carmadale, Illinois. <clears throat> They said that Israel was bombing innocent children and civilians in Gaza. That was a lie from the pits of hell. You know, Carmadale Muslim Center, you need to march downtown and tell the people in Gaza that Hamas, they're letting them use their house at home to shoot rockets at Israel. Israel's just self-defense. Israel don't shoot at Gaza citizens, but Hamas in Gaza shoots at Israel citizens. And Israel's gives them plenty of warning to get out of the way. And uh, we see the propaganda war machine uh, right now happening. And this is nothing new in Gaza. I'm going to read the Bible a little while here. 3,000 years ago with the Philistine. That was the spirit when Samson, 3,000 years ago, I'm going to read it here in the Bible. And right today, on July the 26th, uh, 2014, in Gaza, that Hamas, they got that uh philistine spirit and also they got the uh allah you know uh false god and and uh, the false prophet muhammad spirit because they hate the jews you know and bible prophecy being fulfilled so anyway i'm in today the bible in uh, judges chapter 16 and verses uh, 21 through 30. And this Gaza we're talking about 3,000 years ago is the Gaza we're talking about 2014. Just different people. Israel's been battling this uh, Philistine spirit for 3,000 years. Now it's in her mouth there in Gaza. Verse 21. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with feathers of brass and did grind in the prison house. How be it, the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together for them to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their God, and to rejoice. For they said, Our God had delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. And when the people saw him, they praised their God, for they said, Our God had delivered our, into our hands our enemy and the story of our country which slew many of us. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry, and they said, Call for Samson, that he may make us sport. They called for Samson out of the prison house, and he made them sport, and they sat him between pillars. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me, that the power of God fallen on this supernatural miracle is going to happen here, that I may fill the pillars where upon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Philistines were there, and there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld while Samson made sport. And Samson called upon the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines, for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and which he was uh, barn up, of one with his right hand, and the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords, upon all the people there, that were therein, so the dead which he slew at his death, were more than which he slew in his life. And you remember, Samson was the first man who had a weapon of mass destruction. He had the jawbone of an ass, and he killed a thousand Philistines. And if, you know, if he killed one every minute swinging that jawbone of an ass, it would have took 17 hours. And that same jawbone of the ass that God of Israel used as a weapon of mass destruction, Samson was thirsting. The God of Israel then flew water out of it. He could drink it. The same jawbone was killing people. It gave Samson 
uh, uh, physical water or he would die of thirst. God did a miracle there. And uh, Israel win this battle because God's raised him up like not a fleshly Samson, a spiritual Samson in 2014. And the prophecy on God is Israel battles the Lord's victory in Jesus and Yeshua, you're going to see a miracle, signs, wonders of God. They're going to get them rockets, and them rockets are coming from uh, Syria. And that's Hezbollah. They'll be shooting rockets at Israel there. This is getting ready for uh, Ezekiel 38, 39, Russia coming down, and Syria, you know, they'll come from the north of Lebanon, Hezbollah, Iran's in this signature, the missiles, they're going over Israel. But the God of Israel, Victory in Jesus. The, the Israeli armed forces don't have to worry about. The God of Israel will protect Israel. His uh, promised land. His land of milk and honey. Canaan's land. Beulah land. It will never be defeated no more. No more King Nebuchadnezzar. No more Arabs defeating it. No Muslims ever defeat it. You know, it's God's holy ground. Take your shoes off. You stand on holy ground. And that's going to be the word of God. United States of America better get behind Israel. Right now, Antichrist Obama and traitor John Kerry at Double Cross of Israel, they're going with Hamas. You know, they're a terror organization. They should take the funding away from them because they're tied in, become a Palestinian state. They don't want to have a Palestinian state. They want to destroy Israel. But God of Israel will preserve it and protect it in the last days. And I love you all today. And give Jesus all the praise and glory for this prophetic prophecy. Prophecy on Gaza. Israel will win because the God of Israel is fighting the battle and giving the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to Israeli uh, armed forces for the victory. It might take another week, two, three, four to get all the tunnels underground. They've got concrete tunnels under there to blow them up uh, and get rid of all the terrorists, the Hamas, the Palestinian people. There are some good people there that are not all bad, but the Palestinian people, do not let Hamas store them rockets and missiles in your house because they'll kill you. They're using human shields. They don't care about your life. They won't blame it on Israel, but Israel values human life. Israel don't shoot missiles at just to people like Hamas is shooting at the civilians of Israel, not the military. All I got to say, praise the Lord. Pass the ammo, Israel. Victory in Jesus and battle of the Lord's. This is time to turn your life over to Jesus Christ. You know, repent from your wicked way. Jesus uh, forgive you for your sin. Jesus saved your soul. Jesus uh, loved you so much he died for you. He had to die so we could live and have eternal life. Say this prayer with me today. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus Christ can save your soul. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. My name is written in the land book of life. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, you're returning soon. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today, right? George Kelly, YouTube channel. I thank YouTube and Google Plus. Let this video go North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Write me. My email is on my profile. Tell me the good news. Me and Betty Olivia, at least the brother ministry, Pinkville, Illinois. And keep your eyes on the front page of newspapers. Every day, all over the world, Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Jesus returning soon. There's not much time left. We love you. Most important, Jesus the Lord. He loves you. Till the next video, may Jesus bless you from the north, south, east, and west. Hundredfold blessings, King Solomon blessings, Abraham blessings, Jehoshaphat blessings, and the mighty Wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the Savior, Messiah of the world, King of kings, and Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, and the first and last. In Jesus' holy name. Amen, amen.